Hey, everybody. Welcome to the premiere of the Never Giving Up On You video. I am. Hello, Hannah. Hey, Beck. I'm doing great. I'm excited for you guys to see this video. <clears throat> Hey, Kenny. Uh, we shot the video in Nashville, just in a, um, well, a lot of it was uh, in an art gallery for the stuff that, that I shot anyway, but there was a lot of uh, extra stuff that our, our actors did kind of all over the place, but I, I wasn't, I didn't, I wasn't at all those locations. Um, for me, it didn't take, it didn't take very long to do this video because my actual performance was didn't take too long we kind of did you know a few few takes different angles and stuff like that but um you know I really wanted the the focus to be on the storyline um that you know speaks to the lyrics and and the story behind the song so I wanted the focus to be mostly on that as opposed to just my performance so there's just sort of little bits and pieces of my performance throughout um throughout the video but um, yeah. Am I going to release this to a new album soon? Um, I am working on new music, lots of new music. So I don't, I don't know what I'm allowed to say, but it's new stuff coming soon for sure. My favorite part of the video, I mean, to be honest, you know, videos are, can be fun to shoot, but a lot of times when I'm doing like it, when I'm, acting and doing like all the parts of the video. It's like a 14 hour day, so it can be pretty exhausting. But uh, this one was uh, pretty quick and easy for me. So <laughs> thank you, Rob. Yeah, I just started, this used to be a, a spare room. And then when the, the pandemic hit, uh, I decided to turn this into my own little studio. So I'm just kind of working away at decorating and stuff. This is my um, most influential favorite records wall that I've just been starting to put up there. Obviously, I'm, I'm missing some big ones, but um, I just I'm, I don't have everything that was an influential record on actual vinyl, but working on it. A lot of a lot of the big important ones are there. Um, that Sex Pistols record, I'm pretty sure is the first record I ever bought on vinyl. Um, it's a lot of big ones. All the Zeppelin records, of course. Neil Young, of course. Uh, Harvest Moon is my my favorite Neil Young record. Uh, I curl my hair with the um, what's it called? Uh, Bondi Boost. It's like a crimping. It's like three barrels, and it crimps. It's pretty awesome. Thanks, Jess. Oh, here comes Annie. She's learned how to open the doors 
in our house now, so she just lets herself in. <laughs> She's fine. Okay. Hold on one sec, guys. I'm going to shut my door here. Yes, Annie has come to visit. Is Lainey up here? Uh, Lainey's not here right now. I think Lainey's actually on the road right now. Um, oh, you mean on the record wall? Um, no, I don't know if Lainey's made any vinyl yet, but I would definitely put her up there if she did. Um, so never giving up on you was just sort of, you know, it was kind of, it seemed kind of perfect to put that song out. Um, you know, I, I wrote it actually a while ago, like before the quarantine, but, you know, I think after going through like the pandemic and quarantine and everything with Mitchell, it, it just was so much more true and it just resonated so much more. I mean, you know, back when I wrote it, we were, Mitchell and I were on the road all the time and, you know, really busy and we didn't get a lot of time together. And so that can be challenging sometimes to try and keep a relationship together and, and, you know, still find time to, to love each other and be around each other. And, you know, but in the end, it's, it's just understanding that we both had dreams, you know, we both fell in love with music before we fell in love with each other. And, you know, it was just understanding that, we both needed to, to see each other live out our dreams while loving each other. So, you know, it was just kind of always staying there and being there for each other. But then, you know, when the pandemic hit and all of a sudden we were together all the time <laughs> and we were not used to that. And, you know, also, but it wasn't like, it wasn't in a lot of ways, it wasn't like a, Oh great. We get to have this like vacation together. It was like in the middle of a pandemic where all of a sudden our jobs got taken away from us and we're stressed about work and money and our careers and this virus that nobody knows about and everything in the world seems like it's just, you know, going up in flames. And so, you know, that was a whole different thing for us to go to, to go through together as a couple. And, and it was this, but it was the same thing, you know, it was waking up every day and choosing each other and, and deciding that we weren't, we weren't going to give up on each other. Um, so if I was really excited to put this song out, um, right now, cause it feels very relevant to what we've been through. And I think probably what a lot of other couples have probably experienced and been through, you know, during this pandemic. So yeah, it, uh, it was perfect timing. Let's see. Will you be on the road more this summer? Um, yeah, I have some shows on the books. Um, unfortunately, Canada doesn't um, doesn't seem to be close to getting shows back. Um, but here in the U.S., we're definitely getting some more stuff rolling. So I've got some stuff on the books, which is going to be great. Um, hopefully, more stuff comes in. Annie, did you seriously bust down my door to come in here and now whine to get out. You are a brat. Uh, no, Kevin, I do not live in Bowmanville. Uh, I live in Nashville now. I've been here about four years, but I, I do miss Bowmanville. Have I thought about doing a duet with Mitchell? Um, oh yeah, we've definitely, we've definitely talked about it. It gets, we get asked that a lot. So um, we've definitely talked about it and thought about it. And, you know, for us, it was just, uh, it's a matter of it just like happening organically when it makes sense for both of us. And I think also, you know, for Mitchell, like he understands, like I'm, you know, I'm here in Nashville and I'm, I just signed my U S deal and I'm really trying to, you know, break here in, in the U S while still keeping everything going in Canada. And I think he recognizes too, that it's important for me to introduce myself to the American audience as Megan Patrick and not as Mitchell Tenpenny's girlfriend. So, you know, we're just kind of waiting on the right timing and it'll probably be a song that we write together and, yeah, we'll just we'll just know when the time is right or when we have the song, but we will do a duet at some point. 
And actually, we we did technically kind of do a duet, well, a feature. We did the um, acoustic version of Wild Is Me, which he sang on. Um, so you can definitely go check that out in the meantime. Coming to Colorado for a show. I would love to come to Colorado. Mm -hmm. Annie, cool. seriously? Let me let her out. Sorry. <laughs> Um, I love Colorado. I would love to come out there for a show. We have talked about a Christmas duet. Um, we actually almost did one this year and we just kind of ran out of time. Um, but yeah, we've definitely talked about that for sure. Hi, Haley and Laura. Emily, my day was great. Uh, it was actually kind of it's kind of rainy here today, but it's pretty warm. So I sat out in the screen porch, got some work done and just hung out with my, my sister and my niece are here right now. Um, they're headed back home tomorrow. So this is my my last day with them. Thank you, Kevin. Oh, it's almost your birthday, Laura. When's your when's your actual birthday? Mm -hmm. This is weird. I don't know if I, I don't know if I should be like typing and answering or the video. <laughs> hey, Tyler. May 3rd. It's almost time, guys. Any artists you would love to do a duet with? Um, I mean, there, there's quite a few. I would love, I mean, it's no secret that uh, Eric Church is like my favorite. So it would be pretty amazing to do a duet with him. But also I have just have like a bunch of badass female friends that um, that I write songs with too. You know, Ashlyn, and Casey and Lainey and my, my friend Jenna. Um, so I think it'd be pretty cool to do a duet with one of them at some point too. Hi, Corey. We'll tell Bob thank you. Okay, so it's it's raining everywhere then I see. You know, to be honest, I don't I don't mind a rainy day every every now and again, especially when it's if it's like warm out, because I love sitting out in the screen porch when it rains, so. Favorite record on the wall? I mean, it's hard to choose just one. They're all up there because they had, you know, a huge impact or influence on me. And I mean, honestly, I also feel like a lot of them kind of represent like different stages in my life, like just going through different phases. I mean, you know, in my earlier days, like the Sex Pistols record was definitely one of my first records. Um, that was from my mom. Um, and like, I don't know, my dad, my dad played blues guitar and listened to a lot of blues growing up. So I've got, um, I've got Bessie Smith and Robert Johnson, Lil Walter. Um, so a lot of that stuff kind of reminds me of my dad. Um, Neil Young was an absolute staple in my house growing up and Harvest Moon is my favorite record of his. I've got almost most of the Zeppelin records up here, which were big ones for me during college. Um, Aretha, my queen, Aretha, right over there. So I don't know. I, I don't know if I could say that I have a favorite in terms of which one I've probably played the most. Harvest Moon, 
Mm, that ACDC record's gotten a lot of spins too. And probably Zeppelin two, maybe. Eh, or eh, maybe four. Probably four. So I don't know. I love them all. Uh, yes, Emily, this is my my new little studio. I kind of accepted the fact that Zoom things weren't going away. So, all right, guys, it is time. I'm going to end this stream and uh, we're going to watch the video. I hope you guys love it.